Look what just came in the mail. Uh, I have to confess I'm excited about this because uh, this is a brand new device. As near as I can tell from my reading, um, th there aren't a lot of these out there yet. Uh, Moore makes uh, a lot of generic guitar pedals. If you're <laughs> looking for this kind of stuff, you probably already know that. Uh, this is the Prime P1. And the burning question for me really is, what can this thing do and can it hold a candle to uh, a, a, a Digitech, um, I have a Digitech GSP21 Legend, which I've been using for years, and I just recently, uh, it, it's, it's just a, ironic that I just recently got uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> this. <laughs> so the question is, can this hold a candle to the G3N? I know not yet, but we are going to find out. So let's take a look at what the box holds for us. Once again, the expectation here is not that this thing will bring the Digitech or the Zoom to its knees. That's not what I'm expecting. I'm expecting <clears throat> that this thing is going to do just as well as those. I expect a lot of um, good sounding, um, very, how do I say this, generic effects. Like I'm going to have a really decent distortion. I'm going to have a really decent tube overdrive. I'm going to have a really, a, a really great chorus, a really great flange, a really great delay, reverb, all of those kind of things I'm going to have in this package. And they're, they're going to be solid but they're not going to be something that I would go, oh, wow, I've never heard anything like that. Did Tom Schultz design this? It's not going to be like that. It's going to be, yeah, I need some fuzz. Got it, right here, in my pocket. So, oh, and I have to confess, while I'm opening this, I'm going to have to play some guitar to demonstrate this. Um, I'm not that good, really. I'm <laughs> not that good at all, so... We'll have to deal with that when the time comes, um, <clears throat> which is only going to be a couple minutes. Oh, so you want to win me over? Give me a a rigid wall case with what feels like Cordura. Cordura. Uh, I like this. This is I like basically any time I can get a, a rigid or semi-rigid case with Cordura on it. Um, I'm a happy guy. A uh, little charging cable here, USB-C. Um, this is uh, charging cable number one million and one for me. Um, so far, so good. This, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to read this. Let's take a look at this thing. It is exactly what I expect it to be. This is this is plastic. It's it's very light. It's not it's not feather light, but it's also it, it doesn't like oh my goodness, this is heavy. It's it's not like that. Um, it's got so this thing this spins around it's a thumb wheel it's got detents in it it also feels like it possibly may be a five-way I'm not sure about the five-way it's probably just a a spinner and a and a button so when when you take it out of the package you push the button I don't know if you hit the camera will let us see this or not but when I push the button I get a little flash of light Yep, so you can see that. And the next thing that I want to do is I want to know, <laughs> it's, it's what I always want to know, is there a battery level indicator? Well, <clears throat> I need to get the app for this because this is, the user interface on this is essentially your mobile device. So let's get that hooked up. Let's get the guitar plugged into it. Let's get it hit up. Uh, uh, connected to an amplifier and, and see what we see. I'll be back. All right, well, I don't have everything figured out. Uh, I will tell you that uh, it's all about the app in terms of figuring stuff out and like where you might get instructions. The instructions that came with this device um, are terse to say the very least. And um, if your native language is not Chinese, I presume it's not Cantonese, it's probably Mandarin, or English, um, those are your two choices, English or, or Chinese. So, and, and the English, which is what I know, 
it tells you to download the app and it tells you to keep the thing clean and uh, probably not put uh, toluene or acetone on it to clean it. It's pretty basic stuff. All right, well, I don't have everything figured out. Uh, I will tell you that uh, it's all about the app in terms of figuring stuff out and like where you might get instructions. The instructions that came with this device um, are terse, to say the very least. And um, if your native language is not Chinese, I presume it's not Cantonese, it's probably Mandarin, or English, um, those are your two choices, English or, or Chinese. So, <clears throat> and the English, which is what I know, it tells you to download the app and it tells you to keep the thing clean and uh, probably not put uh, toluene or acetone on it to clean it. It's pretty basic stuff. Um, I have not figured out what it has here. So I don't know if you can see this on the camera, but there's, there's a, it says Bluetooth, USB, um, instrument, and master. So I don't know, master does have an effect, um, but I don't know what the USB, or I'm sorry, the Bluetooth does, because I've got uh, amplifier and speakers in the shop here, and I'm trying to play through those and I haven't figured that out yet, but I do have this set up and it says right here, this is US clean, so. Very clean. Now, if I change this to, oh, well, let's see here, what do we have? Eagle Rhythm. Uh, let's try Mess V Lead Starfield. Let's what does spaces do? Twelve bar blues. There's twelve bars. Let's try this. I know how to do this play power cuts. Sorry. There's distortion, we've got clean, we've got some space stuff. Um, this is cool. It's gonna take a long time to figure out all the things it can do and how to do that stuff. Um, I'm duly impressed.